Okay, let's practice again. Click New. We're going to create a part. Leave the name. We're, gonna, we're not going to save. Make sure there's a check on default template. Click OK. We're going to draw something on the top plane and then we're going to create a sketch. Uh, let's create a center line, construction center line that's vertical. And let's draw a line, but this time um, if we start a line from one corner and cross a center line, it will automatically snap and make that line symmetric. Okay, so you can do it that way. And that's symmetric. But if you, let's say, start your line and let's say go up first before going and crossing the, the uh, construction center line, it won't find or snap the symmetric point on that one. So you're left with something like this. And let's make that a little bit like that. So you're left with something like that. Even if you have a center line, but you didn't automatically start with the um, point crossing the center line, it won't automatically find it. So the best way that you can do this is uh, to make this line symmetric left and right is to use one of the constraints here. Okay, So we're going to click the Select tool. We're going to click Constraint, and we're going to select the Symmetric Constraint. And what we're going to do is we're going to first select the center line and then pick corners. So this corner and this corner. And it should automatically arrange that two corners is now going to be symmetric along the center line. And that's how to fix that uh, problem if you can't, if you want something centered on a center line, um, construction center line, you can select the uh, symmetric constraint and then pick the center line and then pick two points. Okay?